What's up, YouTube? Something a little different for you today. Quick review, overview, call it what you will, of the 23YZ450. This is not gonna be the most in-depth review by any means. Just gonna kinda tell you a few things about the bike that I love, a few things that I don't, and a couple of the upgrades I've done. So, follow along. Thank you for watching. Hit that beat roll, man, let's go. So let's dive into this 23YZ450. So I've done a couple aftermarket things on this bike. I'm going to talk about those first, and I'm going to give you my reasoning behind why I have these parts on here. So as you'll see, recluse clutch, obviously, that's the Radius CX auto clutch. Listen, the only reason I have that is because I have horrible carpal tunnel in my hands, crazy nerve damage. My hands go numb constantly. And any fatigue I could take off of these things, any movement I could remove out of my life on this bike helps tremendously. I didn't want to spend that kind of money on that. Don't get me wrong. It is pretty freaking awesome that I don't ever have to touch the clutch. The only thing that weirds me out is I'm kind of a brake tap guy. I like to brake tap a lot in the air, and that kind of weirds me out. And I also was not able to get the clutch, like, greatly adjusted so that I have still, like, a regular, you know, cable clutch to use actuation clutch that i want to use like if i want to it only engages like a tiny bit i don't know like i've double checked everything in here i'm no mechanic if somebody has an answer for that i would love to know so seat cover i gotta say right off the bat my biggest gripe was this bike was uh how bad the stock seat hurt my butt <laughs> and it was just because i think it's 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 fairly slippery um and so like i was just kind of sliding back and forth and so it's like rubbing my butt cheeks raw uh yeah so guts man i went with you know obviously this and this um the old gas cap piece here whatever you call that um and yeah it's a freaking million times better it really holds you where you're at especially on this thing because this thing wants to throw you off the back luxon clamps the reasoning behind that again is the hand horrible carpal tunnel anything i can do to reduce some fatigue and some some feedback into these hands i'm gonna do it because i just i have to i've only put about an hour on these i just got these on here like not long ago i can't give a ton of feedback about those but what i can tell you is it makes the front end feel like weirdly soft i guess that's like the flex characteristics of it um, like at first i was like holy crap i need to like go in on my clickers or whatever but it, it wasn't that it was just i guess that's how i mean i guess that's what they're engineered for I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the stock ones but i can tell you right now the weight difference is like insane i'm pretty sure these weigh about half as much i don't know i didn't weigh them but as far as like holding them in my hands these things are incredibly light and yeah they definitely reduce the fatigue I love this bike. I love the way it feels. I love the way it handles. It's very, very thin. The one thing that I do not freaking like about this bike, I'm trying to do this backwards, air filter. I do not like the fact that when you pull that air filter off, that dirt and crap wants to drop down in that intake. It absolutely drives me nuts. What I started doing was I take a ring, I take a, a ring, sorry. I take a little bit of grease, throw it on the finger, run it around the edge up then through here and uh it seems to catch some of the some of the dirt from falling down but man like a lot of times if you don't have a shop vac handy it's nearly impossible to change that air filter without dropping crap into that intake so a couple things i wanted to talk about with this bike again i'm just kind of sitting here chilling on the concrete lean up against it one i've i haven't I still have man 30 hours i still haven't gotten the suspension like completely figured out yet The i came from a cowie the the 21 the ks450 for me was like super thing was like a pontoon boat man it just boom, boom, you just float around on that thing it was really easy to ride this bike's real finicky man it's like one two clicks here there one millimeter here there like you know it on this bike it 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 reacts to every little thing um, so even at almost 30 hours, like I'm still messing with suspension. I'm still messing with sag to give you like an idea. I'm 
35, I'm 5'10", I'm 180, fairly good shape. I'm, I'm stock everything on the suspension right now. I have changed nothing. The only thing I have changed is like sag number, you know, clickers and all that good jazz. I haven't done a spring. I haven't added oil or taken the oil out, etc. Down the road, I'm probably gonna have some valving done. But for now, I'm I'm pretty happy. Like, the suspension feels good on this bike. It's a, I mean, when you spend that kind of money on a bike, last thing you want to do, or last thing I want to do, is go shed out a bunch of money in suspension, which was, you know, kind of a big factor of getting this bike because Yamaha's new Tour Sleep have great suspension. I, I, that's one thing I just, I haven't quite gotten it dialed in yet. I've got it fairly comfortable, but it's, this bike is, it's, uh, it's nervous. It's it it reacts to every little thing. So that's one thing I have found that I'm that I'm kind of not struggling with, but just taking a little more time than I would want. Besides that, man, that the power on this thing is nasty. It's uh, it's fast. One note is when I run one of the different maps that Yamaha puts in this app, like if I run like the smooth linear, I think maybe it's called. This thing wants to freaking backfire like hell, like it's like it's running lean or something. Pow, pow, like on D cell, it's pow, 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 like it's backfiring like crazy. So like I just quit messing with those maps. I'm just running stock, whatever the stock map is, because I'm just not really into that whole freaking thing where it's popping back and forth and all that jazz. I've got when I put the 48, when I went from the 49 to the 48 in the rear, it took a lot of that just heavy hit off the bottom out of the turn it took a lot of that out for me which was good so the mapping thing for me is kind of a i don't really care maybe down the road i'll mess with those things but i put in a kefir map one time i don't know if i put it in wrong or not but like it sucked down a whole tank of gas in like 10 minutes it was weird i don't know maybe i put a number in wrong who knows so besides that it's really cosmetic stuff that i did like i just wanted it to look cool you know i'm a freaking vet guy kyb stickers there's no suspension work done here circa handguard circa disc um you know front rotor whatever you want to call that cover there i'd love to get a freaking um man what are you a skid plate you know what what have you i'd love to get one man i really don't want to drop like 200 bucks on one of those carbon ones and right now i can't seem to find like a circa a circa or like a cerebes however you say that like just a straight old generic plastic one um i really don't want to shit out the 200 bucks on a carbon one so we're kind of waiting on that right now but hopefully we're gonna have that soon i'm still rocking stock exhaust i haven't really found a reason of to why i would drop 800 dollars on a silencer not gonna happen right now so it sounds pretty freaking good, stock as it is. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me. I know that wasn't the most in-depth review of all time by any means. Um, I just kind of wanted to give you a quick overview of this bike. If you got any questions on anything with this bike, drop it in the comments. I'll do my best to answer. I'm no mechanic or anything, but I can probably answer some of the basic questions you may have for this thing. But nonetheless, Consider liking, commenting, subscribing, all that good jazz. Thanks for following along. I'll have something uploaded again soon, I think. And until next time, love, peace, chicken grease.